What's going on everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shimonda. Hey. Right now, episode four of the final season of Better Call Saul. This one's called Hit and Run. Yep. Let's go. Nacho's dead. <sighs> yeah. Here's the association. <laughs> <laughs> That would be just the trim. Of all the colors, why would you pick that? Use Adobe Red if you want red. What do you even call that? Fire engine red? Tomato red. <laughs> They're poor neighbors. <clears throat> They're poor neighbors. <laughs> oh, what an eyesore. There's no way the Homeowners Association approved that color. <laughs> They paid for a land survey. Really? Would you like some? What the heck is going Plus, on in this house? Thank you, man. Right. This the FBI? Ooh. Outside as well. Camp. Camp down. Is this Saul's house? I'm thinking so. Oh crap, they got the remote. He gonna see us, Carlina. Things are more or less the same. It's not any worse. <laughs> I guess I should be grateful for that. I did have a dream. That's so <laughs> <laughs> this dude is. So we searched for his game. <laughs> all the signs are in a language I can't read. Shot down 25. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is she coughing? Hey, 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 come on. Out of customer. Okay, okay, but it's time to go. Is that the same you know, switch from the Oh. Ah, uh, yes, at the beginning. Wait, what like the doing? first. Yes. No, 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 is that no. The same it's the same one. Well, just remember, keep your feet out of the way, because I'm going to have to leave in a hurry. Keep your feet out of the way. <laughs> what? I really like your hair. Kim, uh -oh. I think you've got something here. She ain't going to be able to do what she's doing, uh -oh. though. Oh. There you go. I know that's true in my office. What? <laughs> Jesus. You son of a bitch! You twisted head, you piece of shit! Oh my god! You owe me! You owe me! I mean, I don't know, it happened so fast. Oh my god! <laughs> I cannot believe them! Why? No! They moved the cone? What kind of asshole moves a cone? <laughs> now he gonna get a ticket. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Here he 
he come. Mm. Here he come. Oh my God. Something's left in the car. Yeah. <laughs> what? Bye, Bo. That kills business for the rest of the day. Always hassling me. Uh -huh. Undercover cops? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Lalo. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, they're following her. Is following her. Wow. Wow. How's it hanging, Steve-O? Shoes, belt, jacket. Sorry, what? Shoes, belt, wow. jacket. Seriously? Since when? It's procedure, sir. Sir? <laughs> What's going on? Voila. How did he what the hell is going on? on? How come everyone's treating me like I'm covered in oozing pus sores? I understand advocating for your client. Deep in my heart, I get it. But you scammed the court. You scammed the judge. And for what? To get a murdering cartel psychopath back out on the street? He was body. It's just... wrong. Yeah. Prove it, Bill! There's proving, and then there's knowing. Yep, you being followed. Girl, that's the car too. Are you gonna walk over there to him? Yep. Just so bold, Cam. Are you following me? I'm oh, sorry. Are you following me? Sorry for disturbed you. You have a nice day, man. You get these people out right now. What, these guys? They bothering you? Not them. Inside. Wow. Uh, who's here to see Saul Goodman? You're him? <laughs> You're Saul? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Spooge? It's just Spooge. It's just Spooge, duly noted. All right. Um, Gail Marengo? Is that Mike? That's about that. Yep. I'm sorry? <laughs> the two men that were following you, they're gone. <laughs> Absolutely. Do I know you? Would you mind sitting for a moment and I will answer any questions I can? Uh oh, come on. <laughs> I have men watching you and your husband. I'm not with the police, and as far as I know, they're not investigating either of you. I do know that you've been up to a few things that you probably would rather keep private. Mm. I don't care. I'm trying to solve a problem of my own. What problem? Lalo Salamanca. He's still alive. Lalo Salamanca's dead. You're the guy from the desert, the one who was out there with Jimmy. Thank you. Why are you telling me this and not him? Because I think you're made of sterner stuff. Whoa. You spot my guys again, which I'm hoping you won't. Let them go about their business. Just pretend they're not there. I do know you. You worked in the parking booth at the courthouse. Oh. You're the attendant. Where? Was. I was. Very good, Kim. Mm hmm Very good. Oh, that was Jess's house. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, you better. 
he got money so he can build whatever. Come on and go on through this uh, hidden closet. <laughs> you placed in my kitchen. Roy? You told me that he had experience as a show order cook. Uh -oh. Two years at McDonald's in college. He's not up to Pollo standards. Mm. I'll find a replacement. Take a look. What do you think? Oh, yes. Yeah. Spot. That's his office. That's all right. Mm -hmm. My new office, potentially. Come on. Yep. Mm. The toilet in the middle of the daggone. Bad day, huh? No. It's about no. to get worse. Great day with actual paying clients. The word is out. People were throwing cash retainers at me just to say Saul Goodman is their lawyer. No. Tell because the truth. Who you represented. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Well, I mean, that's part of it. But uh, That's all the about bottom it. line is, I need a new place to do business pronto. Just promise me. Uh oh. You won't move the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. Um, speaking of Taco Cabeza. I'm starving. Let's do it. She's not gonna tell him. Mm -hmm. But she's gonna keep looking. Mm -hmm. Man, this show is so good. <laughs> they Amazeballs Right What they did to Doggone Howard They <laughs> Without him knowing Right Oh my god so. It was set up They had set up Kim To meet with uh, Cliff From Cliff Maine And uh While they were there They had it all set up To make Howard look bad So they had the prostitute From Breaking Bad and they, you know they already switched up. To, you know, got a key for for the Jags. So Talk he, about his his <laughs> voice, though. He got a tan. He got his hair done like Howard, brighten his teeth. <laughs> Pin stripes too. So he can look just like Howard. Holding the key in the cone. Oh my God. So when Howard was seeing as a psychiatrist, he jacked the car, picked up the prostitute from Breaking Bad. Just to throw out the car, <laughs> just to drive crazy, throw out the car. So Cliff. He said, "Make sure you move your legs real fast, because I'm gonna have to." What he say? Because I'm gonna have to uh, something. make a quick, ex yeah. a quick escape or something like that. Oh my god! I thought he was gonna have to climb on, t climb over her or something. Right, I, right, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I didn't think that he was gonna like throw her out the car. Right. She tumbled. <laughs> she tucked and rolled. Yep. And so Cliff yeah. from Cliff Maine brought it. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. But um, Jimmy's name is Mud at the courthouse now. Uh, he, he's blackballed now because he represented Salamaca and got him off. They made him take off his shoes, belt, jacket, all that stuff coming through. There was no pleasantries. His hookup lady at the window just gave him the sheet to fill out in order to get a um, another date or whatever he was looking for. And then she closed the window. Even Bill uh, said his name was Mud. I think they realized who he actually was. Yeah. Because his name was something else and he had a fake family. Mm -hmm. But I think they realized that he was actually Salamanca. Salamanca. Instead of Guzman. And that he killed at 22. And he, and he killed Fred. Fred, yeah. Freddy's dead. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then, so, dropping off the prostitute back at the motel, um, you know, the. <laughs> uh, Kim realized she was being followed, and she was. It was uh, it was Mike's people. Oh, excuse me. Ah, you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it was Mike's people. He said he, he saw her at uh, the restaurant. He said, "I asked her anything I can." 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, she, he pretty much let her know that Salamanca wasn't dead. He said, I told you because you made sterner stuff. Um, she said, you may see my people again. Don't worry about them. After a time, you may not. And it's all good. Um, Did you say that he told her that he, was, that he wasn't dead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, Oh, you said Sterner? Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember you mm -hmm. saying that. Okay. Um. Gus's crib is sweet. It started off at the beginning following these two people driving around the neighborhood, judging people's uh, they were on bikes. paint. They were on bikes. They pulled up to a house. And in that house, there was like security cameras looking at a house across the street, which, which ended up being Gus's house. Um, but Gus has a sweet hookup, man. That house is connected to this house. That was crazy. I I never really expected anything like that. I'm sorry, Ralph is infatuated with hidden, yeah, hidden oh, passageways and stuff so like that. So, although the house didn't look like it was like all that in the inside, Ralph is infatuated with the whole process of with the whole thing of uh, hidden doors and hidden yeah. passageways and stuff like that. So it was the freaking circuit breaker. That's genius. Nobody would think to mess with us, even if they did move the stuff. To mess with a circuit breaker. See? That is amazing. You see his face? <laughs> the house could have been mud. Right. But that circuit breaker. Oh my God. Huh. To open it up and to go into another house. And we don't even know where that house is. Right directly across the street, I think. Oh, well, yeah, it was a tunnel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that makes sense. Man, okay. I mean, he has people to, to build stuff for him, so of course he would have had that built. Mm hmm. Amazing. I need his architect. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. I've lost all train of thought. What else you got to add? Nothing. Okay. That's it. That was it. That was it. Okay. Nacho's dead. Yeah. I'm going to keep saying that because Nacho's dead. Man. Um, I look yeah. forward to him every episode. Yeah. All but right. his dad. He... So I want to talk about that because I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, as far as Nacho is concerned, he knew he was going to kill himself mm -hmm. when he told, when he got the word from Mike that his father would not be touched. Mm -hmm. So he knew no matter what would happen, his father was okay and yep. that's all he needed. That's all he wanted. And when he talked to his father, he knew that that was going to be the end. Mm -hmm. um, he just didn't want to be taken out by anyone else, so mm -hmm. he made sure. I thought that was pretty uh, heroic. Basically, he was, I don't know heroic, but... Yeah, that still bothers me. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up.